Hi there, welcome to Learning Science on NTC. I am your presenter, Alex Nkombi. Okay, so we are still looking at electricity, and this time we are looking at the applications of magnetic effect of an electric current. And you can see that today's lesson is going to be a short one because we covered most of the outcomes on the magnetic effect of an electric current in our previous lesson. So straight away, let us go into our lesson outcomes. So in this lesson, you will be able to explain how the magnetic effect of an electric current is used in one electromagnetic electromagnet of a crane, two in a relay switch, and three in an electric bell. Okay, so these applications of the magnetic effect of an electric current are according to our syllabus for science, and this is for both pure physics and also for those that are doing science. Okay, so straight away let us go into our first use of the magnetic effect of an electric current that is on the electromagnet of a crane. So I would like to begin by explaining what an electromagnet is. An electromagnet is a temporal magnet and it can be switched on and off. It is made using soft iron core with a coil wound around it. When an electric current flows through it, it gets magnetized, okay? So as you can see here, an electromagnet is made using soft iron, well, a soft iron core, because iron can easily be magnetized. Remember, this is a temporal magnet. So it's only when current is flowing through the coil that it will be magnetized. Take note of the way in which the windings are done in opposite direction. Here you can see current is moving in this direction and on the opposite side current is moving in the other direction. This is to ensure that when an electric current passes through the coil that is uh, wound on the <coughs> core of the electromagnet, the opposite poles will develop. So as you can see there will be a south pole here and there will be a north pole here. If the current was to flow in the same direction then it means that we are going to have like poles developing. Okay, so to ensure that we have a south and a north, or a, a north and a south, we must make sure that the windings are done, the current flows in opposite direction. Okay, so the strength, and, and, and before we go to the strength, I want to mention the fact that we said that when current passes through it, that's when it, uh, through the core, that's when it, uh, the soft iron core gets magnetized. So this magnet can be switched off, it can be demagnetized when you switch off and then there's no current passing through the coil and it's no longer a magnet. So that's why it's called an electromagnet. It can be switched on and off. It's a temporal magnet. <coughs> okay? So the strength of an electromagnet increases if, so if we do the following, then the strength of this electromagnet will increase. One, if the number of tens of the coil increases. So if we increase the number of tens of the coil, then the strength of the resulting electromagnet will increase. The other factor is increasing the current flowing through the coil. Okay? Now, increasing the current can be done easily by increasing the voltage of the, the, the supply. Okay? So increasing the voltage can help us to have um, an increased, uh, I mean increase the strength of an electromagnet and finally if we make the poles to be near each other, okay? So if the south and north pole are closer to each other then the strength of the electromagnet increases. So those are the three things that we can do in order to increase the strength of an, an electromagnet. Okay, now how is an electromagnet like this one used? Okay, so an electromagnet like this one can be used in cranes to lift heavy objects that can be attracted by a magnet or magnetic materials. Okay, so if you go to a scrapyard, you find a crane like this one with a huge electromagnet here. Okay, so what this crane will do is it will be able to lift all materials made from magnetic materials such as steel, iron, uh, cobalt. So it will be able to lift and then when it 
takes them to the place where they're supposed to be or maybe it is putting in a dump truck when the electromagnet is switched off then it drops all the materials so that's one of the applications of electromagnets they can be used to separate or lift magnetic materials okay we go to another application of um we go to another application of uh the magnetic effect of an electric current okay so the magnetic effect of an electric current can be used in a relay switch a relay switch is used in a situation where one circuit is used to control another circuit let's say for example we want to switch on a very high voltage circuit but we are afraid we may be I mean we are afraid of the effects of a high voltage so what we can do is we can switch on such a high voltage circuit by using another circuit with low voltage so like you can see in this case here we have two circuits there is this circuit here okay that is going to it is part of the circuit with very high voltage okay now here is the the, the switch if these two green contacts here come into contact then then the circuit is complete and an electric current flows completing the other circuit which may be of very high voltage but in order to make these two to come into contact this electromagnet here once an electric current passes through it and then it it, it gets magnetized the core gets magnetized it will attract a magnetic material usually made from soft iron and once that is attracted then the two will get into contact and an electric current will flow now this current that is used to magnetize the core is of low voltage so you are using a safer uh, current to switch on a circuit with very high voltage so that is how an electromagnet i mean that is how the magnetic effect of an electric current is applied in a relay switch so you can see a relay switch also uses the magnetic effect of an electric current because it is using this electromagnet here a tempromagnet that can be switched on and off okay then let's look at the last application of and just before we go uh, to the last application of the electromagnetic effect i mean the magnetic effect of an electric current let us look at another form of a relay switch okay another form of a relay switch is called a reed switch okay uh, a reed switch is some kind of a relay switch a current flowing in the circuit of the core magnetizes the reeds so you can see we have a glass cover here now a and b are called reeds usually or not usually but most always they are made from magnetic materials so when current flows through the coil that is surrounding the two reeds they get magnetized and attract each other because they form opposite poles this end if this end is the north then that will be the south so these parts here will attract and once they attract then they are part of a circuit so they complete a circuit so we can say that a reed switch is just another form of a relay switch so a current flowing in the circuit of the coil magnetizes the reeds and make them to attract each other and complete the circuit along which they are connected when the coil circuit is off meaning that when there is no current flowing through the coil the two reeds demagnetize and they separate from each other and therefore open the circuit so you can see there is need for these two reeds not to be made from a mat from material like steel because steel can become permanently magnetized and even when you switch off the the circuit of the coil the two reeds may still remain in contact because they are attracting each other but if made from iron which is very easy to demagnetize the moment you switch off the coil circuit it simply means the two reeds will just become two magnetic materials and they will separate from each other immediately and then the circuit will be off okay then we come to the last use the the last part of our lesson that is application of the 
magnetic effect of an electric current on an electric bell okay so an electric bell as you can see here uses an electromagnet so we have an electromagnet here okay so when the circuit is complete by the bell i mean by using the bell push and the bell push is here so when you push this circuit then the circuit is complete please take note here that current is flowing in opposite directions in the two parts in the two arms of an electromagnet the coil here current is going like this the coil here current is going like this to ensure that two opposite poles develop here okay so when the bell push is pushed and then current is flowing let's say this we can even use the right hand rule if you, are, you can remember you to tell that this one will be the south pole and this one will be the north pole okay so it means that this will become a magnet and once it becomes a magnet when current is flowing it will attract the armature the armature is the soft ion part here and when this armature is attracted it is fitted with a hammer and in the process of being attracted the hammer will beat into the gong thereby producing a ringing sound now you should see here that the moment the armature is attracted by the electromagnet it simply means that there is breaking of contact at point C here and therefore the circuit will no longer be complete as you can see current has to go like that so once the armature moves like that then it means that there is no contact at C and once there is no contact at C it simply means that this is no longer a magnet because no current is flowing through it and once I mean through its coils and once this becomes just a soft ion or the electromagnet loses its magnetism the return spring here this metal string uh, spring will, will pull back the armature and therefore it will separate the armor from the gong again immediately that happens it means contact has been re-established at point C between the screw and the spring metal strip and the same process will repeat itself so as long as the bell push remains pushed or as long as this switch is still closed then the process will repeat itself the beating of the hammer into the gong and the withdrawing of the armature from the electromagnet by the uh, the spring and therefore producing a continuous ringing sound okay so this is how the it the the magnetic effect of an electric current can be applied so to just go through our lesson i said in this lesson we should look at electromag uh, how uh, the magnetic effect of an electric current is used in an electromagnet of a crane in a relay switch and in an electric bell so you see that in all these three there is an electromagnet in this crane using electricity to separate magnetic materials from non-magnetic materials there is uh, an electromagnet in a relay switch there is an electromagnet in an electric bell there is an electromagnet so we have looked at how this can be applied this electromagnet can be applied in a crane like this one to lift I mean magnetic materials then we have looked at a relay switch then we have looked at a reed switch which is some kind of a relay switch and finally we have looked at application of the magnetic effect of an electric current on a um, in an electric bell so we have come to the end of the lesson thank you so much for your attention remember to follow uh, the Facebook page NTC so that you can access more videos apart from the ones on electricity there are other topics there like uh, radioactivity okay and many others that we are still developing so by following NTC on Facebook using this link at NTC exam coaching you have access to more videos you can also access our videos on YouTube our YouTube channel is NTC physics but you can simply follow this link by copying everything here into the search engine and then you will be taken to our uh, YouTube channel and you can enjoy more videos. Thank you so much. Remember to share our videos so that no one will be left behind. Please remember to stay safe.
observe personal hygiene, wash your hands, stay at home so that we can fight COVID-19 so that soon things will be back to normal and we'll be learning in our schools. Thank you so much.